Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another art themed video for you and I thought I would do kind of like my essential supplies for GCSE or A level art but I've also got like some optional bits and pieces at the end. So the first part of the video is going to be things that I think would be really beneficial for you to have if you're starting GCSE or A level art. And then the second section of the video, which I will say when I get to there, will be just things that like are optional, um, that are like good to have, but you don't necessarily need to have. So I'm going to jump straight into the video. The first thing that I would recommend you have if you're starting art is a really good quality graphite pencil set. So these are the ones that I used to use. These are the Reeves sketching pencils and you get 12 inside. So my forte is not really drawing, but if you are doing GCSE or A-level art, then I guarantee you will be doing some drawing at some point, and there's nothing worse than working with, like, rubbish pencils. These have all the different grades that you could need. There's all the grades on the back, and they're quite, like, a soft pencil, so they're quite easy to blend as well. I used to use, like, a cotton bud to blend it out, and you can also get blending tools as well. So I thought these were really, really good to have and I'm glad I have my own set because like, if you use the ones at school, they're probably all mismatched. There's not like a full set there. Other people don't take good care of them. So if you have your own set, you know that you can take really good care of them and they'll be in good condition. The next thing that I would recommend getting is just some spare paper. So this is sketchbook paper. And this is just handy like to do, I used to do work on separate pieces of paper and then stick it in my book because if you do work straight into your sketchbook, if it's like water based, then the pages will end up crinkling and stuff. So I think it's normally like a better idea to do paintings outside your book and then stick them in instead of straight into your sketchbook. That's just what I prefer to do. So yeah, some spare paper is definitely handy. I also found it handy to have some sugar paper. Now this is super cheap and it's really good for chalk work and like pastel work, charcoal as well. So you can get like packs of different colours. I've just got pink and black here, but I also had like in the pack I got, you got green, yellow and orange, I think, and pink. And sugar paper can also make for a really good background, a really simple background. A lot of the backgrounds in my sketchbook, I just stuck down black paper and it's quite effective. And that brings me on to the next handy thing to have, which is a white gel pen. So this is great for writing on the black sugar paper with, if you're using that as a background. And I just think it looks quite cool. Like I also would sometimes paint my backgrounds with black acrylic paint and then right over the top in white gel pen. And it's just something a little bit different, mixes up the layouts of your book. The next thing that I would recommend you get is something that I'm asked about so much. Loads of the comments on my videos is always, what is that? Where did you get it from? What's it called? And it is this. I'm hoping that you can see that. I think the light is bouncing off it a bit, but this is called acetate and it's basically a clear sheet of plastic and you can use this for so many different things. You can paint on it, you can use permanent marker and draw on it or write on it. You can use it to layer up your work. So if you've done a painting, then you can put this over the top and add like some detail or something. You can stick this over the top of your pencil drawing so it doesn't smudge and then you can write about them on this. I just think there's so many different things that I use this for and I don't know how I would have coped without it. I think everyone should have access to this. It's so good and if you can get your hands on it, I definitely would. You can get this from Amazon, Hobbycraft, like loads of other different places. Everything that I mentioned in this video, I will link down below. So yeah, this is called acetate and I would definitely recommend getting some. Another handy thing to have is some tracing paper. These are, again, super cheap, and it's just handy to have for like backgrounds or as a um, kind of layer in your work. If you've done a chalk drawing, then I would always spray it with hairspray and then put a piece of tracing paper over the top just so it doesn't smudge onto the next page. Brushes are also something that I would definitely recommend you get in if you're into painting. There's nothing worse than using brushes at school that have been used by like younger years and they're all fraying and just in a really bad condition. So I'd recommend you just get your own brush set. It saves so much hassle. So I used to use the 12 nylon brushes and these are just from Hobbycraft and you get loads of different sizes in there. So you also get them in this little wrap which is very useful. I actually have two sets in there. Don't know how I managed to fit that in. 
So this is what the set looks like. I'm not sure if all of them are here. They are mostly larger ones. And as you can see, I have stained a few because I did use them for oil paint. So this is really good to have as your kind of larger brush set. But I would also recommend you get a few really, really small detailed brushes as well. These are my favorite ones that I used to use. And they are from the Make Major brushes. I've just got a zero, a, oh, they're all zeros actually. Yeah, mine aren't in the best condition now because I did use them a lot throughout GCSE and A-level and I use them for oil paint. But another thing I would recommend having why I have two of these brush sets is that one I used for oil paints and nothing else and then the other I would use for acrylic and watercolour. I think it's definitely important that you keep your two brush sets separate because oil and acrylic do not mix oil you use with white spirit and acrylic is water-based so i wouldn't use the same brushes for both because then they just it just doesn't work oh i've just dropped all my brushes <laughs> yeah so i'd recommend having two sets and keeping them separate now this is probably the thing that i would recommend the most out of everything in this video and it is this pen this is the Beryl Fine Liner Pen and it's just in black. It's got a really, really good nib on the end. It's super fine and I use this for pretty much all of the writing in my book. It is such a good quality pen. It lasts for absolutely ages. So good. I cannot recommend this enough. It's just really good to write with. Like there's nothing worse than writing with a crappy pen. So again super cheap get them from anywhere really so i'll link down below i would also recommend getting a black permanent marker because these are really good for writing on the acetate with this is just a sharpie one but any permanent marker is fine the last thing that i would say is kind of essential to have is a good quality sketchbook i do know some exam boards that don't use sketchbooks so if you are on one of those exam boards then obviously this doesn't apply to you but if you do need a sketchbook i the one that i used to use is the cy a4 sketchbook these are really good quality one of my gcse ones did start breaking down the side but that's just because it was like a bit too bulky but the quality of the paper is really good and I just don't think that you can go wrong like it's black it's classic and yeah a lot of people were wondering the one that I used so this is it so that was everything that I would say is kind of essential obviously you don't have to get everything it's just a few things that I would say if you are starting art then I would recommend having those bits if you want to get like a starter kit so yeah the next few things I'm going to talk about is if you're properly into art, maybe you're doing A-level and just talking about some of the supplies that I really, really liked having. So I had this watercolor set and this is really good. It's got all the colors that you need. It's a sea white one. So these are all the different colors you get inside. It's lasted me so well. I've used it so many times and it's still going strong. And I just used to use the lid as a little palette for it. I used watercolours for so many things, like I painted with them, but I also used them a lot for backgrounds. So watercolours are really handy to have. And if you are into acrylic paint, then these are the paints that I used to use and I found that these were absolutely fine for GCSE and A-level. They are the Dalla Rowney, I don't know if that's how you say it, and you can just get these from Hobbycraft. I had like the basic colours of this, so black, blue yellow red and white and then a few like other colors as well and yeah they last really well good quality and then this is just a little set of oil paints that i really wanted to show you guys because i thought that these were so useful for i didn't really start getting into oil paint until a level but when i did get into oil paint i really enjoyed it and i got this set from hobbycraft but it's actually again from the make Della Rowney. I really don't know how to say that. I should do. <laughs> That's really bad. And it's the 24 colour set. So you have kind of like the yellows and there was reds and oranges at the top, but they've all been used. And then on the bottom, you've got like the greens, blues and darker colours. So it's got every colour you would ever need pretty much. And yeah, they were really good. And then I also had some larger tubes of the colours that I would use a lot. And these are from the make again Dalla Rowney so 
I have like a massive white one and this is titanium white. Can't go wrong, you need a white if you're into painting. And then I had these size ones for cadmium red. I had ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow, I think. I don't know where they are at the moment. They're not in my pot of stuff, but yeah, I had these sizes for all of them. And then I also had a black as well. And those were pretty much the only colors I really used. And then I used some smaller colors from the 24 set as and when I needed them. But yeah, the basics is just those five colors. <laughs> and if you are into oil paint, then definitely get a glass or ceramic like cup. I don't know what you call this. So again, you can get these from pretty much anywhere. You can even get a little ceramic pot plant or something just from Tesco or a garden center. Like you can find things like this anywhere. And they're good to put the white spirit in because you can't put white spirit in plastic really. Like it just goes a bit funny. These are much easier to clean if you put white spirit in glass or ceramic. And then I thought I would also show you the white spirit that I used. So this is just from Tesco, any white spirit will do. But if you're into oil painting, then these are definite musts. And the last things that I would recommend having, but I don't actually have to show you is for oil paint, I used to mix my paints on a glass tile and I actually used to get a photo frame and use the glass from the photo frame for that so you can get them super cheap you can literally get them from Poundland and if you mix on the glass tile then they're super easy to clean you literally just wipe the oil paint off afterwards use a little bit of white spirit to get the rest off and you're good to go and if you put like white paper underneath then it's really easy to see the colors that you are mixing if you're into painting then these tear off palettes are also really useful um, i use these for oil paints but then i found the glass tile was more reusable but if you don't want to have a glass tile then these are also really good and also palette knives are really useful to have if you're into oil paint just to mix up your paints a lot quicker than using a brush so yeah i think that is everything that i wanted to show you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video obviously these are just things that i found were really useful to have you don't by any means have to get all of these things you can literally start off with nothing and use your school supplies and then along the way as you get to know what you like and what you don't then you can buy your own supplies but i've had a few requests for a video like this so I thought it was about time I do it so yeah I do really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any more art related suggestions down below then please comment because I really really want to get back into this channel I know there's been some non-art related videos recently but I but I know the majority of you that do follow this channel are interested for the art videos which is amazing so please comment some suggestions and I will try my best to make that happen I'll also link my two Instagram accounts down below if you want to give me a follow or ask me any questions and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!